Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you an easy way how you can install LiveNet TV app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. Now, without any further ado, let's proceed. So the first thing you have to do is get an app called Downloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store or Google Play Store. You have to go to search to do so, here's the search bar, let's open it and just start typing the loader in the search bar. As you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the loader because it already appeared for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet, we still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings, so here we are, we gotta select that button with the gear icon, then we can go down to my Fire TV, open it, and here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, there are some Fire Sticks, actually quite a lot of them, which have the developer options hidden by default. So if you open the settings and cannot find developer options anywhere, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. To do so, we'll go to About, select Fire TV Stick, now we have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and here turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now we gotta go to the list of apps on our Fire Stick, which is right here. Let's open it. And when the apps load, you'll finally see the loader right here in the application list. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, got a great application for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or any other device you may imagine, and they allow you to connect all your devices from one account. It means you only need one subscription, which is also very affordable because they cost less than a cup of coffee per month. And that's great news for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any location, let's say Canada, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you, snoop on you, or even know what you're doing online. And that's extremely important if you wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have great news for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free which is an amazing offer, so go get those 4 months for free and then use the loader safely. Then we can finally open the downloader application. On the left side menu, make sure to click home, that's important. And there you'll see a search bar. Let's click on it, it's going to open, and here we need to enter a search request. You'll see it on your screen in a moment. So in the search bar, we just need to type live net TV and then click on go. Make sure to enter the search request exactly as you see on my screen. Now we click on go and in a couple of seconds the search results are going to load for us. So let's just wait a little bit. And here are the results. We'll need to scroll down a little bit until you find this one. As you can see, it says Softonic here. Softonic is a website where you can find a lot of different apps to download, and that's exactly the website we were looking for. So look out for Softonic right here or here. Then just click on that link with the Softonic, and then the website of Softonic.com is going to open for us. It may take a couple of seconds to load, then just click on free APK download, and in a couple of seconds, either the download is going to start or we'll have to click on relaunch download. Sometimes it is necessary. Yep, so as you can see, the download did not start for me, so we have to click on relaunch. And then the download finally started for us. Let's click install right here. And then do not click open yet. Instead, press on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file. 
so we click on delete and then delete once again. Now we can finally go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is, let's open it. Scroll down and there is LiveNet TV app which we just installed. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's a button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way the app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. And of course, don't forget to use a VPN to stay private online.